Right, YouTube, it's Big Mike without further ado, Retro. Uh, I've been holding this one off for a while. Um, personally, I think this is possibly the best collection that I've got. Um, so without further ado, we're going to do my Super Nintendo 2018 collection. Cheers. Right, if a uh, bit of a one, this one. I wasn't sure really how to sort of start this or what to do with this one. It's a, a collection problem I'm most proud of. So I've sort of uh, tried to sort this out in some sort of... Uh, order of a collection and uh we'll go from there we'll see how it pans out so um i've just pulled all these down off the shelves and uh a lot of them need cleaning and um some restoration work done on them so i'm just showing them as is and i'm going to rebox them clean them up and everything and then redisplay them so without further ado here we go <laughs> so first game i think you have to mention is the super mario world um this box is on the wrong way round. But uh yeah, um one of the finest games on Super Nintendo. What a game to get it and uh, as a pack in title. Um absolutely in my opinion, platform imperfection. Um I don't know. I mean I could get this in nicer condition. The condition is okay. It's quite hard to pick this up in good condition. Um I don't know why the yellow box goes for more because the red box was actually the first release, um, or as far as I'm aware. Um, when it first came out, you couldn't get Super Mario World on its own because it was a pack-in title with the Super Nintendo. Um, and when this came out, I remember thinking, why is the box red? Because it doesn't match the cartridge. And um, it's when it first got a box release, when they started doing the Super Nintendo without the Super Mario, I believe. Um, and I was quite um, shocked with the red red box. So... Um, and then the yellow box came out after, but it's the yellow box that commands the money. And that's sort of, to, to me, that's like a greatest hits commanding more money than a black label on PlayStation. But <laughs> so if I'm wrong, um, I did ask a question in the community before, but no one sort of got back to me. Um, if anyone does know, Retro Dave Nintendo or Alex Nintendo Arcade, uh, Cyber Snake J, all you guys, I, I value your opinion. You probably got a lot more, lot more knowledgeable than I am. Uh, if you know better than what what I've said there, please leave some something in the comments and uh, educate me, please. Because that, as far as I'm aware, the red box release was first, and then the yellow box came after. It might be that this was a European release because, as you can see on this box, this is in English and in French, so and um, Netherlands as well. Look, so not sure. So if you know, please leave something in the comments. But that's Super Mario World. Um, like I say, platform imperfection. I think it's probably worth a nine nine point eight. Out of out of a hundred or ninety eight out of a hundred or nine point eight out of ten or closest as you could get to ten out of ten absolutely fantastic for the time superb uh after that you got uh super mario all stars um this is in nice condition sorry about the glare there <laughs> as you can turn on professional photographer or cameraman um yeah this is uh all the mario brothers one two and three and the lost levels as well um i haven't really played all these through um i, I need to really because uh they're, they're supposed to be some of the best games ever aren't they but i think through to time they've sort of lost a bit of their uh magic like you know but uh nevertheless i've got it and it's in the pack and if i wish to play it it's there so that's that and uh the next one this is the reason i sort of got all my boxes down is uh picked this up at Walsall for an absolutely fantastic price in lovely condition. Um really, really minty. You couldn't really get much more mint than this. Um which is Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Um like I like to say a fantastic condition. I actually did have this already from a, a bundle that I bought um ages ago, the best pickup I've ever done actually. Over five hundred pounds worth of Super Nintendo games for twenty five pounds. Um, I won't say where because a person might get in trouble and uh, it's basically having someone on the inside of somewhere works out quite nicely for me and that day it worked out the best it ever could so I've got £500 of Super Nintendo box games and this was one of them not this version actually if I show you this version <laughs> was in, in there so um, it was £500 worth of games um, and I said to my mate how much do you want he said he put put them back for me he said, how much, how much do you want? He said, give us 25 quid, Mike. I said, you sure? He said, yeah, I'm sure. Just don't tell no one. <laughs> so, now I've just told the whole YouTube community, but I'm uh, sure that none of his work colleagues 
watch my videos anyway and they won't even know what I'm on about so um, come Christmas I bought him a couple of bottles of champagne for him and his wife because he certainly looks after me if there's ever a situation of anything I need at his work he always looks after me so that's Yoshi's Island uh, 2 so that other version is going up for sale so that's hence why I've dug all my games down and, and sorted it all out so the next game is Super Mario Kart uh which is uh is fantastic. This is in quite nice condition. Bit of sticker residue there, can't really move, looks slightly sun faded slightly, but you know, you can't really sort of pick holes in everything. You know, you're not really gonna pick them up in much better condition than this really. Um you know, I'd say it's a strong seven. Six and a half, seven, you know, if you're gonna be fussy. You need to change the box round on this one as well. Um, I'll put it in a better protector than this. So, while everything's down, that's what we'll be doing. So, Super Mario Kart, fantastic game. Next one, um, again, could be in slightly better condition, but um, not 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 in terrible condition by all means. So, you know, there's a slight mark there. F Zero, uh, what music on this game? What a game, to be honest. Release title, absolutely fantastic. But I would like to get a minute of this. You can They are available, but like I say. Uh, We'll see what we can come up with. I mean, I think I picked this up several years ago. And it's 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 a strong 7. Again, it's a strong 7, you know, possibly. You know, but they are available mint on this. So I um, I will look into maybe upgrading that at some point. But it's, it's not necessary. But, you know, <laughs> if you're a bit anal about it, then maybe. Um, another game, great. Again, uh, Pilot Wings. What a game this was. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, never played a game like this before. Sort of, you learn your, your, your to fly licenses, and then you got parachuting, flying planes, helicopters, all sorts. Really relaxing game. Really, really nice. This is actually in really nice condition. Boxes backwards again. You can see this is all when I first started collecting. I didn't even know how to put a protector on correctly. You generally have these on the back, so you wouldn't see them. <laughs> so I'll change all these round. I'll possibly upgrade them to, to the five mil nicer boxes. So. But yeah, that's Pilot Wings, absolutely fantastic. Real um, release title again, if I'm if I'm correct, and sort of really our first sort of introduction to Mode Seven. Really, I'd say absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really nice. We're doing all these in this sort of Nintendo order at the moment. So, but I thought that's the best way to start out. So, uh, next up, absolute classic Star Wing, uh, Fox McCloud, and uh, friends. Um, really, really great game. This, um, even playing it now, a lot of people slate it, say, "Oh, it's jerky, it's slow." And back, back in the day, it blew our minds. You know, absolutely blew our minds. And like I say, this is in nice condition. Um, probably a seven or an eight, I would say. This one, boxes backwards again. <laughs> so, like I say, when I started out recollecting. These are all been bought possibly a lot of these are like when I sort of started collecting again and sort of got mad mad into it again. And uh possibly bought these like between four and six years ago, a lot, a lot of these original Nintendo ones. So uh hopefully they've gone up in value, but my boxes skills were as they're all backwards, all the boxes are backwards. So Right, next one is uh Stump Race Effects, another game that a lot of people uh slate and say, Oh, it's jerky, it's rubbish and all that but I really loved it back in the day. I thought it was really cool. I actually had this. I have most of these, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this back in the day. I haven't sort of revisited it, so I might go back to it and sort of check it out. But, again, in nice condition. A few nicks, a few nicks and that, maybe. But, as a whole, you know, they're not that, they're not that bad at all, really. They're, they're all sort of seven upwards, I would say. So maybe some sixes, but... Um, now another one that a lot of people go on about. I actually put this. Um, no, I didn't actually. But yeah, put this together myself. I think this one, which was um, Zelda. I've never been into Zelda, but uh, a lot of people rate this as the best game on the Super Nintendo. So uh, I thought I couldn't not have it in the collection. If uh, people reckon it's the best game, we might, might put it on and might find out it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's not a hundred percent complete. Complete. It has the manual. I don't think I've got the secrets codes, and I don't think I've got the map. So, but yeah, another game's gone ridiculously through the roof. 
I bought the cartridge only first. I got the box and instructions separately and and uh, Frankenstein them together. So, um, yeah, I think I paid below going rate doing that way. So that was all right. So it wasn't too bad. So Zelda Link to the Past, a game that I need to visit some, at some point soon. Right, next one. Another game I haven't played, but it's supposed to be absolutely superb. So I thought I'd pick it up, which is Super Punch-Out!! Um, always loved the look of Punch Out in the arcade. Didn't really see it a lot, it, uh, you know, with the, the green vector man. That looks a like wicked. And you used to put your hands in the gloves, didn't you? Like, well, like glove type joysticks. And it looked really cool. I played it like once or twice. Once, it just just blew me away. Really, really sort of cool. So uh, yeah, Super Punch Out. This game's going up in price. Um, and I picked this up, I believe, at Blackpool, if I'm right. So so uh, yeah, Super Punch Out. Another great game for the collection. In really nice condition again. Um, another game which is uh, sort of probably will be had enough value, but it can still be picked up fairly reasonable at the moment. Which is Uni Rally. Um, unfortunately, there's a little bit of sticker sort of it's taken the paint off a little bit, I think, on the sticker. And unfortunately, this one did take a dive off the shelves in my possession. Nightmare, and it uh, crushed it up slightly there, as you can see. Because it was really annoying because it was almost a minter. <laughs> so I would say this is probably a six or a seven now. Probably a six with the damage and the, the ink come off there, you know. But other than that, the box is lovely. Uh, condition is, uh, you know, probably I'm a bit fussy with the condition. I don't know. But uh, I'd say that's a good six, really. So that's Uni Rally. It's supposed to be a fantastic game. I played it a couple of times back in the day. Um, another game which is starting to pick up a lot of uh, praise from a lot of people is... Uh, Plock, so it's sort of. Um, I don't know if this is it's just by Trade West, but I think it's a Nintendo release. So, but it's a very very colourful platformer. But a lot of people sort of really 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 like this and sing a lot of praises of it. Not in the greatest of condition, not 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 in the worst. You know, it's probably probably a five or a six. Um, it does have some damage here and there. It's got you know a bit of wear and tear there on the front, but uh, it certainly do me. Um, and if I find one in better condition, I can always upgrade it at some point. So that is Plot. Next one. Um, this isn't Nintendo. Actually, Nintendo releases. Actually, no, I'll swap them around. Um, a Nintendo release actually is uh, Super Tennis. So Super Tennis, a great uh, tennis game on the Super Nintendo. It does have a slight like indent there, if you can see it. I don't know. Other than that, it is... It is uh, pretty mint um pretty nice condition but um yeah unfortunately it's uh like just it just has that little indent on there but what a great game super tennis a release title again if i'm not wrong um yeah so other than that other than that little bit there as you can see crease in there it would have been a minter but um that's okay you know i'd say it's a good sort of seven or eight seven point five maybe with the damage so but uh, still, still, you can't complain. So you see, look at some of people's uh, Super Nintendo games, and they're, they're in terrible condition. Now, probably the um, other best uh, tennis game on the Super Nintendo is uh, Smash Tennis by Namco, uh, released by Virgin, um, which is also enough a really cool tennis game. So if you're sick of one and you want to go on to something else, you can always play this. This box is a bit of bit of uh, honest wear and tear, but uh, again, it's probably a probably a six or a seven, probably a, a seven, just a little sort of bit wear there with the ink sort of worn off a little bit, you know. But uh, yeah, I'd say a good six point five on this one. A smash tennis, uh, really cool little fun little game. Right, uh, next one is Super R Type. <coughs> Excuse me. I was actually playing this <coughs> the other night as I'm getting the, the my room sorted at the moment. <coughs> so the, um, a game, um, a Bristol gaming fair, retro gaming fair. <coughs> I'm sorry. I think I've swallowed a fly that's flying by or something. <laughs> no, I haven't really. <coughs> Just a bit of dry dust in my throat. So it's a super hard type on the Super Nintendo. Playing it the other night is really, really hard. <coughs> I think the problem with this game is um, it starts you too far back. 
so you die and then you go right back to the beginning of the level so really right right nightmare a little bit of slowdown in it but uh nevertheless i believe a, re a release title again um and just a bit of a shame if they had possibly been given another say six months or something to develop this i think they could have done a lot better with it um i think it's called like in the 70s but uh I think it's due to slow down. If they sort of knew the machine a bit more, and uh, it's a great game, but like I say, it's a little bit too difficult where it starts you too far back. Condition this one, I'd probably say a strong seven. There's a little bit of a, a mark there, but other than that, the, the box is pretty, uh, pretty immaculate. The, I think it's a mix of R type and R type two, but the beginning of, doesn't remind me of R type, so it's sort of a bit, bit of a mix of the two because that, that guy's from R type two there, isn't he? That's from R Type 2 at the bottom. Uh, I think all these screenshots look like it from R Type 2 actually. But um, yeah, I think it's a mixture of R Type and R Type 2. So, uh, but nevertheless, a fantastic game. Uh, game we picked up the other, the other last week actually, <coughs> which I haven't tried yet, which is Vortex. I'm not sure if this was a release title. I've got a feeling it might have been. If it's not, it was released not long after. Uh, first game that I was aware of used a Super FX chip. Um, and this is another game that also gets slated very badly. But um, I picked it up for less than £10. Uh, I've always been interested in it. And it's in really nice condition. So um, probably a good 7, possibly an 8 for condition. Uh, that is Vortex. Right. Uh, another game which is also gets slated badly. Um, but I just sort of pick it up. It's just interesting. Which is uh, F1 Exhaust Heat by Ocean. And it's pretty nice condition. I think I picked this up for under a tenner. If you watch my pickup videos, you'll actually see what I picked it up for. And uh, yeah, I haven't played it, but I know it sort of uses Mode 7 to do the roads and everything. So it looks pretty cool. Nice condition. Interesting buy. Cheap enough. So. And now one that me, uh, me old mate, old school, old school variety face, says he's getting into on the CD32 at the moment, which is Out to Lunch, featuring Pierre Le Chef <laughs> uh, by Mindscape. Uh, this is an absolute minter. Well, it's not an absolute minter. It's about, let's have a look. Yeah, it's probably a seven or an eight. It's got a couple of creases, but other than that, like I say, you got to think these games are like 25, 20, 25 years old. So to have kept them in this condition, they're pretty good, really. So, like I say, you know, it's not it's not terrible. Probably a seven. Probably a seven. Oh, it's a, it's a little bit damaged there, unfortunately. Yeah, so to say a six with that damage, but but like I say, perhaps I'm being a bit fussy because uh, I do I try and get them in the best condition I can, or if I get them in sort of questionable condition, then I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll upgrade them, like you know, so. Yeah, I thought I was done with Nintendo, but we're not. We're, um, these three were put to one side, uh, which is Donkey Kong Country. Um, these were part of that deal that I told you where I picked them up for £25. Which got Donkey Kong Country. Um, it's okay condition, it's probably a 6 or a 7. But like I say, when I've got £500 worth of retail value games for £25, you're, uh, you're not going to really quibble about condition. When I've seen the titles that are in there... I snapped my mate's arm off and I asked him how much he wanted. And like I say, he's always a gent, always looks after me. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> so for £25, I got Donkey Kong Country. One, two. And like I say, conditions probably a six or seven. got a few marks and all that. And, uh, <clears throat> and Donkey Kong, one, two, and three. Uh, like I say, Yoshi's Island was in there, um, and I'll tell you the other ones that were in there as we go along. So, so Donkey Kong Country, one, two, and three. So I sort of went through them a bit quick, didn't I? So we'll show them. I see. So this is missing the CD, unfortunately. It's got the manual and cart and everything, uh, everything other than that. But like I say, for twenty five pounds for five hundred pounds worth of games. You can't really sort of start moaning about anything, really. You know, the, I was just glad that my mate held them for me and let me have the deal. And like I say, number two, Diddy Kong. There's a lot of people swear that this is the best game on Super Nintendo as well, don't they? I haven't really put a lot of time into these. I did have the original one back in the day, but um, 
I've I've yet to put the proper time in, so I will be putting the time in at some point. This is what, like I say, getting this room sorted. We've actually got access to the Super Nintendo now, so we can play it. So, so we've got the Super Nintendo the SNES Mini set up, and we've got the actual Super Nintendo set up on the the CRT Beast. So uh, we're gonna gonna be putting some more time in. So don't you worry about that. So that's Donkey Kong Country one, two, and three. Right. See you in a moment. Right, next one I think we're going to go with is Capcom. So, start off with these. Uh, the original American um, Street Fighter 2. <laughs> with the old uh, sticker there, USA game requires adapter. Please ask for details. <laughs> um, this is box complete in really nice condition. I found with a lot of American stuff, I have to get that sticker off. I can do that in a moment. But like I say, as I've got them all down, um going to sort of do all the work with them, get them all cleaned up, get the ink off, check the manuals and everything and do them all while they're down. So like I say that sticker will come off easy enough. Like I say you're fine with the American stuff, it's easier to get the American stuff in nicer condition. I don't know if it's because they use a better, better thicker card at all, but always seem to be the way. I don't know why, but it is. Oh wrong way. Wrong wrong, wrong way round. So we're gonna go Street Fighter 2 Turbo. American edition again, uh, in okay condition, very dusty, it's been up on the shelf, um, and this was the game for me, uh, well like I say, initially, originally I got my Super Nintendo with Street Fighter 2, um, but I think Street Fighter 2 Turbo was where they uh, perfected it, they got it, you know, you could play the bosses, you could play the bosses in the original one if I'm right with the code. Up, down, left, right, Y, B, X, A. If I'm right, I could be wrong on that. If anyone, uh, you've got to do that on the Capcom screen uh, when it's, it does the Capcom and the little Capcom intro. Uh, up, down, left, right, Y, B, X, A. Um, if I'm wrong with that, uh, let me know. But that's what my memory says to me. So um, this one I never really got into. A lot of my friends started getting into this, but I, I always liked Turbo, but Street, Super Street Fighter 2, which is. Uh, more characters, the Fei Long and all that, isn't it, on this one? Um, yeah, T-Hawk and all that. Yeah, it's a good game and everything, but I think Turbo was where it was at. You didn't need any more, really. But if you wanted more, Super Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 was where it was at. So I don't have uh, <coughs> the Alpha, but um, I, I would like to get it. Um, but it's basically rubbish and um, not very good. And uh, it's basically not very good very expensive well right, here's just a, a fake box to uh, chuck in a mix this is a fake box of ghouls and ghosts i bought this because when i bought my original uh i played a lot of my i've said nearly, nearly 200 pounds for my mint condition ghouls and ghosts got in a bit of a bid and more when i was sort of a bit of a noob on ebay and uh i was a bit worried it was a fake so i ordered a fake box to see what sort of quality boxes they were doing um and this is really poor <laughs> I got it's like it's coming apart like the glue them at the bottom and uh yeah it's not very really good the colors are all off um i can't see how anyone would have their games in this i think they've come on a long way now with uh the fake boxes so you know what what i say if it is if they can make it they can fake it so uh yeah so that's the fake box of super ghouls and ghosts um here is my uh an original that i bought a cheaper one which is um, how I remember it, because it's a sort of a pinky sort of colour. Um, and if I just show you the two, um, so there's the, the fake and there's the original. So you get the two in the shot. Um, you know, the colours are slightly different. And that's how I remember it being in the UK, is these colours. Um, it's mad because there's quite a few different box variations on this game. Um, <clears throat> so this is one that I've bought. Um, and on the bottom of this one, it has that. And on my expensive one, it's different again. <laughs> um, which is, that's that one. And here's my expensive one. Um, but you can see the, the quality. I mean, it's... Some faded this one basically. I think uh, this one's been a bit more looked after. You see the c colors, the Nintendo sign's correct on it, it's got Nintendo seal and uh, everything. 
you know, uh, one one thing I find with uh, telling a lot of fakes is you look at the Nintendo seal. I don't know if you can see that there. It glistens gold. Um, on the fakes, they don't seem to be able to do that. Like the way that the uh, Namco uh, Konami silver boxes are silver. Uh, on a lot of the co uh, copies, they're grey um, instead of silver because they don't seem to be able to do that. It must cost a lot of money to do that. But like I say, on this one here, which is an original, the bottom is like that on that one. And on this one here... The bottom is like that. So, but also if I show you, you look at the colours, the Nintendo colours there, they're correct, and those aren't. <laughs> so, you see, the colours are are, uh, are wrong. So, you can see the difference. You can tell the difference. But it's a uh, very interesting though. So, like I say, got ghouls and ghosts. Uh, just a cheap one I bought just to check. Well, one I spent nearly two hundred pounds on. <laughs> Um, and there also is, I did ask the question to the community, but not a lot of people were watching my videos back back when I asked this question, I don't think. Um, I put the question out to Nintendo Dave and uh, Nintendo Arcade Alex, um, and no one got back to me or anyone else who could give me information. But is, there's a, there's an actual um, Super Ghouls and Ghosts with a Mattel logo on. Um, and I think I found the answer. I think the one with the Mattel logo is, if I show you... So this is a cheap one again. It has a Mattel logo here, uh, red Mattel. And from what I sort of found out, or what I think I found out, is Mattel uh, licensed it in um, Australia. So, but if anyone else knows more than me on that, that, or if I'm wrong on that, it's very hard to find the one with the Mattel logo. Um, but yeah, it's the same colours, but it's um, got a Mattel logo. And I think uh, Mattel must have done a, a bit of the licensing on, in Australia. So uh, yeah, I'm. I, sort of was wondering about that and never sort of found out the the information right next up is um <sighs> street fighter 2 turbo um this is absolute minter again um i paid a lot of money for this i paid nearly for, uh, between 120 and 180 for this <laughs> uh like i say i've got absolute minter i've got it um you know you see these here that's they're, they're not scuffs or anything they're um, heat seal when they used to shrink wrap the um, the polythene onto the, the the bags when they used to heat seal them. Sometimes the, the heat would melt the thing, and then when you take the shrink wrap off, unfortunately, it would pull the paintwork with it. So this is a mint, uh, probably a good eight or nine out of ten. Um, but like I say, just where the uh, the shrink wrap has peeled the paint off, unfortunately. So. That's uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's the version I grew up playing, you know. So that's why I've got that. I've got, I don't know why I bought I've got the Americans. I think I've got them cheaper in a bundle or something. I kept hold of them. Um, but that's the version I grew up playing. That's an uh, iconic, really, really cool. So that's that. Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Absolutely fantastic. Another game, 9, nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. As close to perfection as, as you could get. Right, the next game we have is uh, another classic. Completed in not very long time at all. I think completed it this on the day I bought it back in the day, uh, which is Aladdin um, in pretty good condition. So a little bit of a dink there, a little bit of a, a dink there. It's probably a seven, slight dink there, maybe a six. <laughs> but other than that, the, the structurally the box is sound. Um, great game, fantastic. A lot of people say the Mega Drive game is better. To be honest, I've completed this one. I haven't really completed the Mega Drive one, so I'll have to put a bit more time into it. So, But Aladdin on the Super Nintendo, a must-have in anyone's collection. Um, another game, uh, this is a great game. Uh, I have this in many, many different systems, which is Super Pang. Unfortunately, some idiot has removed some label and uh, damaged the box. It's a bit annoying. Um, you find that generally with a lot of these um, pangs, they, they must have stuck a lot of stickers on the front of them <clears throat> because most of them got some sort of rip in that somewhere. Um, someone's written on the label there. I can I can possibly remove that if I want to, <coughs> but uh, I'll probably leave that. <coughs> Come on, I'm gonna have to get a drink in a minute. I think. But Super Pang, great game. Happy to have it on the Super Nintendo. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, slight damage. Probably upgrade it at some point. Right, next up we have 
Goof Troop. This is the one that I brought back to life, and I think I've done a pretty good job with it. It's got a slight mark there. It had pen all over it and stickers and everything, didn't it? So it's a. I think it's come up to a good six or a seven. It was probably possibly struggling to be a five before I would say. So I've done a pretty good job bringing this back up. Could be iron, could be brought up a bit more, but happy, happy, never nonetheless. So, ooh, <laughs> ooh. it's a it's a bit of a big hitter here. Um, yeah, probably possibly the most expensive game I've got. Um, I don't know. Um, conditions a little bit. I'd like it to be in better condition. Conditions pretty. Probably a five, maybe a four, um, but uh, it, you, I could iron it and get it better. But uh, I'll show you it anyway. So here we go. It is Demon Crest PAL version, imported from Australia. Um, Demon Crest, I believe, didn't get a UK release. If I'm right, it got a, a German release. And obviously an Australian release. Um, I don't know what other countries it came out in. But uh, the box and instructions and everything is in English and in German. And same with the manual and everything. <coughs> so, yeah. So, if you look there, it's German first and an English below. So, this never got, as far as I'm aware, an English release. Um, I bought this without the manual and then I bought the manual afterwards. Here's where the damage is, unfortunately. You can see it's been crushed at some point. I haven't ironed it. I've just put it in one of these protector boxes. I may iron it at some point. Like you say, it's got a little bit of crease in there, some marking here. I'd probably say it's a four or a five, unfortunately. But, um, I mean, if this was in good condition, um, I would say they try and get about 500 quid for this in good condition, the PAL version. Um, you will see a lot of American versions um up on uh flea of the bay um they go for about 250 upwards to 250 upwards really i'd possibly say mine in this condition is probably possibly about three 350 if it was a mint condition it probably would be worth 500 i mean i paid 80 pounds just for the instructions you pay like 120 upwards for just the cartridge and then the box but like i say the box is uh isn't very good uh very good condition it's being held together mainly by the the protector it's in so unfortunately but as a as a shelf piece it looks all right doesn't it you know it was, it was to take it out of the box it doesn't look so great but uh yeah it's um it's a great game i haven't played a lot of it it's an expensive game it's a bit of a you know it's a bit of a one to get um i did see um retro retro dave nintendo had uh uh, had one of these, but unfortunately had a massive tear on on the box. But other than that, on on his one, it was, his was an absolute minter. But like a bit like what what my pang's like, you know. Um, his was absolute mint, but had a, a, a tear like I had on my pang, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I know he had that for sale on eBay. I don't know how, how well you got on with that, uh, Dave. But uh, I know all this stuff's usually in mint condition anyway, isn't it? So, but yeah, that's Demon Crest. Pro probably, or well, possibly, the most expensive game. I possibly own so Demon Crest uh, Pal, Pal Edition German um, UA, yeah, Australian Pal Edition <laughs> so that's Demon Crest <coughs> next one these are all on American because I can't really afford the English ones but I could have no well I can but uh, Final Fight <laughs> does anyone else reckon um, old Hagar looks like a Freddie Mercury doesn't he Freddie Mercury on roids, and uh, yeah, I, I I nearly went through this um, the other day. I played it on that uh, 101 cartridge, um, but Final Fight guy, and I nearly went through the whole game with uh, the credits that were there. And I I had a credit left, and I went to bed because I was really tired. So, uh, but that is Final Fight, <coughs> and after Final Fight, you have to have Final Fight Two. I'd say these are all American releases. The power releases of these are ridiculous money. These are quite expensive. Uh, Final, well, the Final Fight and Final Fight Two on American aren't too bad. Um, I had two of these uh, Final Fight Twos, um, and I sold one. But yeah, it's Final Fight Two, which is probably better than Final Fight to be honest. 
and where they sort of perfected the um, the mix was uh, Final Fight Three, and this would cost you um, in the region of about anywhere from I'd say generally it goes for about two two fifty, two fifty to sort of. 500 but really you can pick these up for 250 all day long a lot of them you have to import from america so you'll get stuck on import duties and things like that so yeah i think i'd, I'd done a frankenstein with this as well i think i bought this and then i bought the instructions separately um a uk pal version will cost you 500 pounds upwards probably five to six hundred pounds complete um but yeah it's quite nice condition probably a seven strong seven the manual's in nice condition like I say, I think I paid about 80 quid for the manual for this. So, uh, yeah, I think about 140 and 80 maybe to put put it all together. But uh, I actually had two two Final Fight 3s. I sold one of the boxes to Tootie, actually. Um, and I'm sure I've got another cartridge somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'm not that sure. <laughs> so, right. The next one is um, another game which I'd like to get in... Uh, on the UK edition. I'm not really into these. But a lot of people go. Oh yeah. Mega Man X. And all that. So. I got it. So I thought. You know. It's one of those games to have. So. <clears throat> I bought it. Uh, this hasn't got instructions. But I picked this up for 40 quid. 40 quid for Mega Man X. Now. If it's a UK edition. Um, you're looking at about 100 pounds. Maybe 120 complete. So for 40 pounds. I'll pick it up on the American. <laughs> so. Uh, and I can always get instructions. Here was another game that was in my um, uh, five, uh, my twenty five pound deal for five hundred pounds worth of games, which was UN Squadron. Um, really good game. Played on the Amiga and it wasn't that good, but I think the SNES version is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I remember this being a really good game. I'd like to get this on the British release as well because I like this. I sort of prefer the bit of British boxes to be honest because the Americans are all black boxes, a bit boring, aren't they? It's a nice sort of silvery box on the British release on this, but UN Squadron, pretty cool shooter. There's not many of them on the Super Nintendo, is there? So yeah, so that's that. So like I say, it's part of me £25, £500 bundle. So American or British, I wasn't going to complain at the price I paid. Uh, next couple up then is a couple of big box releases so we have Super Metro Prime uh, so I read a glare on this one got it in one of the uh, box protectors my game vault box protectors 5 mil ones very good on this product this is a great game Super Metroid um, also supposedly one of the best uh, Super Nintendo games there is um, very cool game, very atmospheric. Uh, an absolutely ridiculous huge size box, which is really cool. Uh, and I have this, but I'm actually missing the uh, the insert tray. So I have the box, I have everything else, but I'm missing the insert tray, unfortunately. Right, next one. Um, should have showed earlier with the Capcom releases. Um, oh, is Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the steel tin. Um, yeah, limited edition. I can't remember how many of these they did. This isn't the best condition. It does have a couple of dents. It's slightly scuffed, but I managed to get this for like 60 quid. Um, I'm missing the pin badge in this, I think. Um, yeah, I got the cartridge, but I'm missing the pin badge. Um, this is also shooting up ridiculous prices. Uh, in good condition. Some people want about 160 to 300 pounds for this. So let's get this in this condition for. About 60 quid was, was pretty good, really. So, um, and like I say, Street Fighter 2 Turbo is one of my favourite games. So, definitely need the, the higher end edition on that one. Right, so now we're going to move into another uh, company, one of the best companies on the Super Nintendo, which is Konami. Uh, it's Gradius 3, the um, American release. Um, I haven't really played this one, but. Uh, God, feeling it suffers for slow. It's not supposed to be one of the better shooters, but uh, shooter on Super Nintendo anyway. Gradius three, Konami. So if we have it. It's American release. Got a feeling this was in that five hundred pound pickup lot that I was on about. So for twenty five pounds, uh, really nice, uh, cool game. Um, again, I think this was in there as well, which was uh, Mystical Ninja. Unfortunately, it is the American release. Um, 
I would like to get the English release of this, the red box, because I think the box looks better. Um, but this is quite a nice condition American release one. So, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty cool cover as well. Right? Actually, nice artwork. So, uh, really cool. And uh, sort of quite a mad little game on Mystical Ninja. There's three Mystical Ninja games on Super Nintendo, if I'm correct. Um, but we only got one released in the UK. And I believe one on the American release as well. So, um, unfortunately, the, the others you have to get in the Japanese releases. So, another game I'd like to uh, pick up in the UK box, um, which is Batman. So you see the, uh, the hologram there, the official transfer. This is American release again. I would like, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's the American release. Um, I would like to get the English release of this. Cool game, beat em up, really good graphics. Um, Really cool game, really good beat em up, sort of in the style of Final Fight. Obviously, Batman and the, the Batman characters, quite uh, quite cool. Really good beat em up, and a cool, cool little hologram there. I look like the official holograms. Every official Batman product's got one of those on. Um, this game I'm after, really, really, really want the English release of this or the power release, which is um, Turtles in Time. For me, the silver box is just so iconic. I do have the, this one, the American one. But for me, it'll only be proper when I get the silver version. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, totals in time. But unfortunately, I need to get it in the silver box version before I'll be happy. Um, talking of silver boxes, we're into the silver boxes. <laughs> right, this is um, Super Pro Protector. Unfortunately, this is a German release. It's pretty good condition. Um, it's a bit of stick residue there to get rid of. Um, but like I say, unfortunately, it's a German release. So this was when I was a noob on eBay. Basic rookie mistake. And uh, But I will be replacing this with a UK release. So it's pretty good because that's quite a nice condition. But um, I'll try and pick that up before they go too skyrocket in, in price. They are going up on, on the up on the up. So all my other silver boxes should be proper English releases. So the Parodius, absolutely fantastic game. Really, really nice condition. Um, yeah, really nice. Little bit, little bit bub bubbly there. But uh, yeah, you can't really, it's a sort of, I'd say a good seven on these. So that's Parodius. Love Parodius as well. Parodius is a great little cute map, but really, really hard, really hard shooter. Um, talking of shooters, Axley, absolutely superb. This is getting uh, ridiculously up in price now. This is in really nice condition. A little bit of a... That's not too bad. Yeah, really nice condition. Um, and this is this is going through the roof now. I think this is coming on a £100 plus game now, Axley. I think it's about £80 upwards. Um, which is uh, it's a nightmare if you're starting to buy now. Same with this game. Uh, this is really nice condition again. Uh, Super Castlevania 4. Um, absolutely lovely condition. Really nice. Really cool. Like I said, I bought the most of these, a slight crease in there. But, um, you know, I bought these all several, about four to six years ago, I think. And uh, luckily, I got to sort of manage to get them just before, or at the time they were just starting to go up to crazy sort of prices so luckily i managed to pick uh pick most of these up at a good price this game you can get at quite reasonable prices even still now and it's a cool game which is buster bust loose silver konami box again um a really cool game quite it used to be quite easy if i remember rightly but real fun real fun game so that's uh as you see really nice slightly scuffed them. but this you can get with 10 to 20 pounds i think 20 25 you got a real nice mint, minty condition one so i've got a feeling i'll pick this up for between 10 and 20 pounds so not necessarily the best condition but uh no nevertheless a, a great game not a bad price this game here uh i bought the cartridge originally and then i bought this one uh which got the cartridge in but it's missing a label so I think I paid uh, £10 for the cartridge and I paid £15 for this with the game in, but the uh, game is missing the label. So 
which is the Cybernator, and Shikanami, um, but released on their Palcom release. Um, really, a uh, little bit there, but for 15 quid for the box, I didn't notice that tear, but, you know, other than that, the box is in lovely condition, and 15 quid for the box is, uh, like I say, that, that tear's a little bit naughty, but, uh, 15 quid, so 25 quid all in all, Cybernator, boxed, fairly nice condition, I was happy to get it, might get a better one at some point, but I can live with that tear, really. Um, one of the ones I picked up at the events, I believe I picked this up at Blackpool, which is Turtles Tournament Fighters, this was missing the uh, instruction manual, which I bought the instruction manual off of eBay, unfortunately there was a bit of a naughty bit there I didn't notice before, I sort of Almost looks like some rats have chewed through it or something. But uh, other than that, structurally, the box is cool. So, yeah, he's not too bad. It'll do for me. Um, like I say, it's uh, it's not a game I was particularly after. But it is another silver label Konami. So, uh, yeah, really do. I like the, I'd like to get most of the Konami releases, if not all of the Konami re releases. I think they're, they were all really good, I think. Um Sticking with Konami, <laughs> funnily enough, is Prince of Persia. I just picked this up at um, Revival uh, at a fantastic price. Like I said, it does have a little dent there, but other than that, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit creased, but for the price I got it for, which is about half the price of what it usually goes for on eBay, and this is better condition than most of the ones on eBay, so I'm going to really complain about it too much. And, uh, that's Prince of Persia. So, on to the next ones. Um, got this in the last Blackpool that I went to. Not the last Blackpool, but the one before. Which is Zombies Ain't My Neighbours. This is supposed to be without manual. When I opened it up, the manual's in there. And this is a pretty damn nice condition, this one. So, yeah, I think this is a possibly an 8. This one is a really, really sort of nice. Really nice. I've got a feeling I might have to get a little bit of thingy there. Sorry, it's 7.5. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, Zombies Ain't My Neighbours. I think it's, it's just called... What is it just called Zombies Here? Yeah, Zombies Here, but Zombies Ain't My Neighbours in the US. For some reason, that's too strong a title for us in the UK. Um, next one, this is an absolute mint, and this is a 9 or a 9.5. Uh, Pop and Twin B Rainbow Bell Adventures absolutely mint condition um yeah really really crisp i mean that's about <laughs> that's about it if you can see there's a little bit of a thing there but other than that you know you know you're really not going to get a game in better condition than that and this is sort of a platformy i think we sort of platform and shoot so uh yeah really really cool uh really really clean probably the cleanest game i've got this one so absolutely lovely Really nice Rainbow Bell Adventures. And the next one. This was also in that £500 bundle that I told you about. Um, which is a Palcom release. Which is Pop and Twimby. Uh, this is the shooter. Shoot em up. Or cute em up. Uh, and this is really hard. I find this really hard. I have played this. But I didn't get very far. I find it very, very, very hard. Uh, like I said, uh, they're a little bit roughed up. The ones that I got on this deal. But like I say, when you pay twenty five pounds for a five hundred quid worth of games, bit a bit roughed up, you can accept, can't you? Do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's uh, really, really, really nice. Um, and that's on a Palcom release, right? That's the the last of those ones, right? We'll start with these ones now, then. Right. So the next one is oh, <laughs> I should do it that way, really, which is Top Gear. Um, Basically, I think these are um, Lotus Esprit inspired on the Amiga. So, but on the Super Nintendo, so it's Top Gear. Um, get a lot of praise from the tubers, saying it's a really good game. I've yet to play it, so looking forward to giving that one a go. Now we can access the Super Nintendo. And then, as you have seen, a sneak preview, Top Gear 2. Uh, another cool game, really, really cool. So, uh, wicked. That's Top Gear 2, really, really cool. Right, and then we have Star Wars. I think this is the American release, this one. Super Star Wars. Um, really cool games, really cool music, really, really good uh, 
faithful to the films. I enjoyed that. Don't really watch the Star Wars films really myself, but um, they are pretty pretty good. I like the music and the, the like, you know, lightsabers and and the aircraft and all that on the spaceships and that. But never really been into the films. This is the UK version of uh, the Super Return of the Jedi. Really nice condition. Really nice condition. This one. Um, it's got that silly gold label from some stupid shop. Uh, but other than that, yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, you can see the game. Really cool. And to finish that one off, you've got the old uh, Back to the American releases again. Which is Super uh, Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars Super Empire Strikes Back. And uh, really cool. Pretty good condition again. So, on to the next one. We've got... Um, Tato game, Darius Twin, or Taito, Darius Twin, Super Nintendo shoot 'em up, American release again. This was also in that five hundred pound bundle for twenty five pounds. Um, yeah, that bundle was fantastic. Uh, really, really, really pleased with that. Best pickup I've ever done, I think. Really, you know, yeah, hands down, best pickup I've ever had. Um. Adam Samley, uh, I used to play this on the Amiga. Exactly the same game, but on the Super Nintendo. Uh, great games, the Adam Samley. You can pick that up cheap as well, looking for a cheap, good platformer. Um, next one is uh, Pugsy Scavenger Hunt, the Adam Samley. Again, don't have the, um, the third one, which is the expensive one, but uh, I will get it at some point. Right, uh, next one, I picked this up for a game shop in Wales. Um, cool spot. Uh, the shop was an absolute nightmare. Everyone was getting crushed. All these games were under like Xbox games and everything. So I had to liberate this out of the store. So for ten pounds, it came home with me, and it was rescued and put into a nice protective box straight away. Uh, another one, I believe, I picked up at um, Blackpool, which is Doom. Not supposed to be the greatest release, but nevertheless, Doom on. Super Nintendo. Right, next one. Going to get slated big time, but it is Mortal Kombat. Plays really well, just hasn't got the blood. Um, yeah, really, I, I like them on the Super Nintendo. It's really cool. Um, but I think for me, I really like the Amiga releases as well. So, next one is NBA Jam. Really, really cool tournament edition. Nice condition. You pick this up for fairly cheap. Um, really wicked. Yeah, I like NBA Jam. Uh, not don't notice the difference between that on on, on the Mega Drive. Played on the Mega Drive, really. Um, next one is Desert Strike. Another game is mainly played on a Mega Drive, but I've got it on Super Nintendo as well. Reasonable price. Um, right. Riggs! <laughs> it's lethal weapon. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, a nasty tear on the back. But I think I got this for about tenner. So, that's that one. <laughs> Another game. Not really going to play too much, but I've got it, which is FIFA. So, it's a football game on Super Nintendo if I ever feel the need to play one. Uh, try and get the rest out. Super off road, running out of uh, memory, so I <laughs> have to get these out of the way a bit quick. So super off road, right? Smash Super Smash TV UK release. Absolutely love this game. Fantastic, really cool. Right, super, super swift. Really nice condition. I have three or four versions of this, so this is this is the one I've ended up with. Really nice. Hulk, uh, Hulk smash. Unfortunately, Hulk was smashed, so I had to glue him down. <laughs> but other than that, it's impeccable, apart from that nasty bit at the top. Um, crazy, uh, clown, what is it? Kid Clown in Crazy Chase. Pick this up cheap. Uh, nice, nice sort of uh, quality. Box is lovely. Haven't played it yet. Mickey's Magical Quest. Um, Wicked little platformer, not as good as the Mega Drive Mickey games, but you know, pretty cool. 
Um, Super Space Invaders, Mint Condition, American, Wicked, or Space Invaders, not Super Space Invaders, sorry, different game. <laughs> right, Archie McLean's Drop Zone, as recommended by Nintendo Alex. Archie McLean's cool anyway, done IK Plus on the Amiga, uh, Jimmy White's and that, so anything by him is usually pretty good. Syndicate on the Super Nintendo, not necessarily the best version, but picked up cheap, so going to give it a go. Um, Adventure Island, um, basically Wonder Boy, I think, and uh, but not called Wonder Boy because Wonder Boy's um, licensed by Sega. And we have Super Bomberman Two, um, Hudson Soft. We all know Bomberman, uh, really good. Um, Alien Three, uh, got to get that Tandy sticker off. Really good game. Uh, two different games on the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. But nevertheless, both both worth a play. Both very, both very, very good. And Mr. Nuts. Uh, I think due to memory, we're going to have to do the Super Family Com games, the Japanese releases, in a separate video. So, uh, okay, YouTube, I hope we, uh, you like what you saw. And uh, like, comment, share and subscribe. Give us a comment in the comment section. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.